All right, so let's take a look at these posters and figure out how we can uh, split them up so that they can be printed on the plotters at school. Um, I had asked the second and third years what the maximum width was and they told me 48 inches was fine. So maybe they just lied to me. But either way, uh, we can totally fix this. So first thing I'm gonna do is just go um, to the poster that I want to revise and split into two. And I'm just gonna make a new page. So I'll just hit the plus button here and that's gonna bring up a new page. And this is just sort of like a standard page that InDesign is giving me. Um, but I wanna make that a half size of this poster. So what I want is something that's 48 inches wide and then I'm gonna just split this in two. So if this is 72 inches, then I'll want this page to be 36 inches high. So we want something that's 48 by 36, and that way you can print it on the 36 inch um, width, and that should be totally fine. So we're going to just go down here to this little edit page size uh, button and click on it, and we're gonna go to custom. And so let's enter in this. This is gonna be half presentation, half size and we're gonna uh, do a width of 48 and a height of 36 and let's just add that to our custom page sizes. I have a few other ones here that are different. So anyways, presentation half size is here and we're gonna go okay. And now you see InDesign kind of automatically sets this to that width and that dimension. So we're gonna need two of these. So let's uh, hit another plus sign here to add a page and then just go over here and now we can select presentation half size from our options. So now we have two pages, 48 by 36, and we should be able to just copy and paste the information we need down onto those. So I'm gonna select the top half from this presentation file and I'll control C. And then I am going to paste it here. So I'll just control V and um, now we have stuff that's going off the canvas, so we're just gonna need to uh, change the dimensions on this drawing down here so it's not overlapping on the canvas. So I'm just gonna drag this uh, boundary up here somewhere. And now I'll select everything and I'll uh, place it within the margins of the page. Um, so everything is fitting like this, except for this perspective and this plan are cut off in the middle. So, um, you can make a decision here. I'm gonna show you two options. One option would be that we move everything up slightly so that uh, these elements fit on the page um, so we can get at least the bottom part of the perspective in and we can always print this label on the next page. Uh, so that would be one option is just to move everything up so that it fits a little bit better or uh, we accept that part of this is gonna be cut off. I'm just gonna delete that label. I'm gonna drag, oops, I wanna make sure my auto fit is turned off. And I'm just gonna drag this handle up to crop that down so that it's hitting this uh, margin right here. And then I'm going to copy and paste those same uh, bottom half of this poster. So control C and go to this poster and control V. And now I'm gonna drag this handle down and I'm gonna drag all of this stuff up so it fits on the page. Okay. So we, we need to match up a couple things. First of all, we need the missing label from this drawing up here. So I'm gonna grab that. And I'm just gonna grab this as a reference object so that I can match it up properly. So I'm gonna do this. So now my label's in the right place and I can just delete that reference object. So this label is gonna fit fine here, um, but we also cut this off a little bit. So we actually need to um, figure out how we're gonna match up these lines. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky, so pay attention. I'm going to take this image and I'm just gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna hold down Alt and drag it up using Shift. So I'm just dragging it up to this page here so that I can see it on this upper page. And I'm gonna drag it up until it's uh, at the same margin that this one is cut off at. And I can see already that there's a weird gap in between these, so it's not matching up perfectly. So if I was to cut this poster at the margin and cut this poster at the margin, I would end up with a site plan that is missing a piece. So what I need to do is figure out 
um, how I can I can match this up. Um, so how far I need to to drag this before it matches up perfectly. So if I just keep dragging down by one inch increments, which is what this border is, I can see that it's two inches off. So I need my image to be matched up perfectly. And now it is. So what I can do is delete this old one and then just drag this down and match it up with this margin. So that gives me a file that's a little bit longer than what it used to be because it used to match up with this boundary here. So if I want, I could just keep it as is and just move my label um, to the front so that my label's actually sitting on top of the drawing itself. And if I press W, this doesn't make that big of a difference to me. I'm still getting plenty of white space around it. So that I think is probably the best solution. And that way I know when I cut this, the site plan is going to be perfectly matched up here and here. So I can overlap the border of this page with this one and um, they should match up perfectly. Now I also changed this perspective. So, um, so I'm gonna have to do that same thing with this perspective. Now it might not be such a big deal for this because uh, it's um, oh, only just a very little bit that got cut off, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and bring it down here. And um, what do I wanna do? Actually, I think you probably don't need to do much on this one. I know I had moved the, um, the handle by a little bit, but I think it was only like a millimeter or something. So um, this one's probably fine. When you print this, nothing is gonna get cut off. So you'll just have the label right underneath here and that should be fine. Um, so it's really just the site plan for this one. But if you have any of the other templates where you have drawings that are cut off in the middle, you're gonna have to duplicate the bottom file, bring it up, and make sure that it matches up perfectly with the top one so that you're gonna be able to cut that line and match it up. So now I have two posters. They are 48 by 36. You should be able to export these as uh, PDFs. And then when you print them, you will just print them in an orientation that allows you to use the 36 inch side. And that way you don't have to rescale anything on your posters, you can just do it like this. And I know there was some question about margins and how you should have like a one inch border around your drawings. There's already a one inch margin on this file. So even if you wanted this to uh, equal 46 inches total, that is what this margin is set to. So there's one inch here and one inch here. So in total, this content area is 46 inches. So hopefully that's helpful to you. And um, uh, allows you to make the most of the work that you've already done and not have to do too much work to rethink this poster. And uh, let me know if you have any issues.